Do you, like so many others in the industrial automation industry, have a veritable zoo of automation hardware out there with valuable data that's isolated from your control system? This zoo of automation hardware is an efficiency-robbing, risk-increasing area that causes a ton of headaches for many automation engineers. No matter what application you're using in the Aviva Wonderware portfolio, there are all of these different types of devices out there that are not run-of-the-mill PLCs or RTUs. They don't support Modbus, they don't support Ethernet IP. They come with their own serial, Ethernet, USB, Bluetooth, or other protocol. And you need to integrate them in today's connected world. It's a problem automation engineers must solve. It's a problem Software Toolbox has been solving for over 20 years. So we ask you, what's your device or devices that are a problem to connect? So now that we've covered the basic challenge, how do users normally solve the problem of connecting such non-standard devices? I want to first make sure you really understand why this truly is a headache. When you get one of these non-standard devices, like an Athena temperature controller for instance, it commonly comes with some form of manual, which tends to be a PDF these days. Hopefully it does anyway. If it's old enough, it's entirely possible there's a paper manual laying around collecting dust somewhere. And in this manual, there's stuff like this read request. And you look at this and start to think, what in the world am I supposed to do with this request with its start character, ID, zone, and type fields? This looks like stuff engineers and programmers have to deal with. And that's only half the equation. There's also the response to that request to consider, and that's just to read one type of variable. So how in the world do you deal with this? It certainly doesn't look like something you normally put into a DAS server or some other OI server with a standard protocol like Modbus. You'll see I've included the link to a specific blog post that goes into a bit more detail on this topic, so I encourage you to have a look when you get a chance. That's the challenge to be overcome. Let's talk about how to overcome it. OmniServer is a user configurable data acquisition server that uses a pattern matching engine allowing you to configure a pattern of bytes for a specific device referred to as a protocol. For making data available to HMIs, SCADAs, and other visualization or client software such as Aviva Wonderware solutions, OmniServer supports OPC DA, OPC UA, DDE, and has a native Wonderware suite link interface not requiring FS Gateway or OI Gateway to get connected. For physically connecting to the end devices, OmniServer can be configured for serial point-to-point -point or multi-drop connections and Ethernet connections using TCP, UDP, or Telnet transports. OmniServer even supports USB devices that can map to a virtual COM port. In that fashion, OmniServer makes it possible to communicate with the vast majority of devices supporting protocols that are either variable length, meaning data from the device could vary in length each time, but are delimited by terminating characters, or protocols that have a fixed length for data coming from the device. So what that means is that OmniServer allows you to essentially build a custom driver at a much lower cost than you ever could with a custom coded solution, resulting in integration of all of the miscellaneous devices in a plant or process that might not otherwise have been connecting, which reduces effort and costs while increasing process efficiency. And since talk and explanation doesn't fully convey how a solution truly solves a problem, I encourage you to have a look in our video resources for OmniServer to see this short video, which demonstrates how easy OmniServer makes it to configure a protocol for communicating with a marquee text display in around three minutes as a basic example. So you're probably asking, what steps are involved when you're working on a project where you need to connect the device, but you're just not sure how? For those situations, reach out to Software Toolbox. OmniServer is probably a good fit. We can do a free protocol document review to make sure. Ideally, you have a protocol document you can share for the device in question. But if not, do at least make sure to have the manufacturer model information so we can do a bit of research to find documentation for your device's protocol. OmniServer installs with a library of existing sample protocols, as I mentioned earlier, and you can start with those, or there may be existing samples we can, we can share in addition to those. And don't forget that Software Toolbox offers professional consulting services covering a range of complexities from providing a basic reference sample to help you get started, all the way up to a full protocol configuration. Just contact us and from there, Software Toolbox will work with you to figure out the best options to get your devices connected with OmniServer.